as we've been creating these memories, a lot of them have been trimmed automatically. So we haven't got these beams interfering. But I just want to change the way it's done now slightly. So I'm just going to go and use this trim command. This will both trim and extend at the same time. So I'm going to start off with this, uh, the body that I put in last. And I want to extend it at the bottom so that it runs right the way through to the underside of this beam. And also so that it's flush at the top. So I can do all of that in one go. Okay, we've obviously created a bit of interference now, so I'm just going to trim this beam back to this face. And just to tidy it up a little bit, I'm also going to miter off the end of this piece. So again, I can just trim it to the face. And finally at the back, this beam's not long enough, so again we can just extend it out to here. Okay, while we're um, working on this corner, I also want to just kind of chamfer or miter off the end of, uh, of this piece. So I'm just going to do that by sketching on there and drawing a single line. I want it to be horizontal with the, uh, the underside of this, uh, this member over here. So if I just select the end point of that sketch and select that edge, automatically SolidWorks gives me some choices. Um, I can put it at the center of the edge, that's not what I want. I just want to make it what we call coincident, so that means it's on that edge. So all I'm left to do is give it um, a horizontal distance of 350 in this case. And we can just use that single line now with the cut command. And what it will do is remove everything on one side of the line. We can choose which side to remove by saying flip one way or the other. And I want to be just a little bit careful that I don't cut something I don't mean to. So rather than letting SolidWorks automatically select, I'm just going to make sure that we only cut this piece here. Now I obviously need to do the same thing across on the other side, so I'm just going to take that feature and use our mirror command. And we're just going to mirror it about the front plane. And that'll chop the other end off. Okay, in a similar way, we need to mirror some of these, uh, these bodies now, or these, uh, these structural members. So we can just use exactly the same command again, but this time rather than mirroring in defeat individual features, we're going to mirror entire bodies. So I can now just go around my model, selecting the pieces we need across on the other side. And we're making pretty good progress with our frame. Okay, we need some additional supports running on the underside of here now, so I'm just going to quickly uh, sketch on this face. 